what's going on guys it's your boy and the matrix and boy oh boy do i have a good one for you <laughs> okay so you're both gonna like this you're gonna like this one and you're also gonna hate one so i'm here at the nichegamer.com and it says final fantasy 16 producer says game lacks diversity due to its medieval setting hmm hmm gee i wonder i wonder you know people always like to make up things about history you know, and, you know, back in the medieval times, you know, the, the, the 1300s, the, the 1400s, the 1500s, there was no diversity, my friend. And it just so happens that Final Fantasy 16, an epic fantasy, which is usually set up around, I mean, commonly epic fantasy stories are set up around European medieval worlds like Game of Thrones, right? And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, you know, like there, there's, that there cannot be any diversity. But the problem is, the problem is modern day, when people use the word diversity, really what they mean is no white people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's basically where we are now. Like, basically, well, what they're saying is that Final Fantasy 16 is too white. There's too many white people and there's not enough brown people, right? And the creators, right, the producer says something really interesting that I think you guys are going to like. Now, guys, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell for future notifications. All right. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, Japanese culture. I talk a lot about Final Fantasy and Square Enix. So if you're into any of that stuff, make sure to subscribe. Now, on with the show. Okay. So let's go over here. And it says uh, Final Fantasy 15 producer Naoki Yoshida was recently asked, asked about the upcoming game's diversity where he was asked if there would be a be black or people of color in the game <laughs> oh man i oh, mean the japanese don't play around man the japanese don't play around check this out it says yoshida noted this wouldn't be the case despite the teams thinking about the possibility ultimately the final fantasy 16 team decided against diversity because of underlining geographical te te uh, technological and, and geopolitical constraints of this settings right and it makes sense it is part of the story that everybody in this in this world is you know of your basically they, they look european right they look european also also what people do not understand or what people do not want to admit is that europe itself is diverse so i know some people don't like to hear that i know some people don't want to admit that yes europe europe is actually very diverse and when I, and diversity is not just skin color by the way so here it says as most people are likely aware at this point final fantasy 16 is based around medieval europe hello which according to yoshida would realistically never be diverse compared to that of modern day earth or even their own their own other games final fantasy 14 that is correct that is correct back then back then people used to be isolated you know people used to travel you know across the ocean like christopher columbus traveled across the ocean but it will take months a wooden a wooden a wooden boat a wooden ship it will take like what two months to get from let's say england back in the day on a boat to the americas it was take like two, it's, it's a long time bro it's, so this is very realistic they're being very very realistic back then in the 1500s the 1400s there wasn't a lot of diversity but it was very very little and it was only because there were certain people that were you know that had the tools to travel outside of their country into other continents right and then it says so the isolated nature of valistea again keyword keyword isolated nature keyword right there of valistea this is the name of the land where, where they live said the name the name of the setting were and world for the game as well as its basis in historical medieval europe kept them from wanting to do this exactly exactly he noted he understands this might disappoint some fans but states that that the diversity goes beyond appearance noting that the characters are diverse in their nature backgrounds beliefs personalities and motives what did i just say what did i just say you see you see and, and by the way i i didn't i didn't even read the article before making the video <laughs> let me just put that out there you see the characters okay 
He says the state, but their diversity goes beyond appearance, and and, and that's basically what you know. What you know, whenever people bring up diversity, that's what they talk about. Oh, it, are there any brown people? Okay, and I'm Latino. I'm Latino. I'm not exactly white vanilla. Okay, yes, I'm tan, so I understand how this works. Okay, it says nothing. Noting the characters are diverse, diverse in their nature, backgrounds, beliefs, personalities, and mot motivations. It says ultimately, though. Uh, those chose to keep away from creating ethnic diversities due to the settings as even though the game and the world is fine is fantasy it is also rooted in reality i love the japanese i love the japanese because of the way they think this is very this is very true this is very true this is very accurate way of making a game you have to be very realistic about the way you're making a game Right, because it's grounded in reality. So in this land, this continent, Valistea, there were only people that look European, right? And they were very isolated, meaning they don't travel outside of their continent very much. So they do not see they do not see other people from other nations. So if they were to go south to like a warmer area, they wouldn't see people that have like a tan or darker skin tones. You you understand what I mean? So this is very realistic, and I am glad that they addressed this. And I'm glad that they, they asked this question because this is they 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 took a logical approach, and I'm not saying oh well, and again like I said there shouldn't be any diversity, but you have to be very realistic about the world you're creating, and this and this is the path they've chosen, and they've and I say they've done an, a phenomenal job, and this makes me want to play the game even more because I like games that are rooted in reality. Okay, anyways, whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button for future notifications, guys. This is your boy, Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching and listening. Godspeed!